प्रैक्टिस सेट फोर्टी एट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इन द फिगर्स बिलो फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स सो देर आर थ्री सम्स वी हैव टू फाइंड वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट वन एल एम इज सेवन एम एन इज ट्वेंटी फोर एंड दी हाइपर टेन यूज एल एन इज एक्स सो लेट स्टार्ट सो लेट्स राइट वॉट ऑल आर गिवन इट्स एल एम सेवन एल एन ट्वेंटी एन ट्वेंटी फोर एंड एल एन वी हैव टू फाइंड दैट इज एक्स ना एल एन इज दू सो एज पर पाइथागर इज थियोरम फर्स्ट वी हैव टू अप्लाय दैट हाइपरटेन्यू स्क्वेर इक्वल टू साइड वन स्क्वेर प्लस साइड टू स्क्वेर वॉट इज दी हाइपोटेन्यूस एल एन साइड वन वी कैन टेक एनी साइड एट साइड वन एंड साइड टू एल एन इज एक्स सो एक्स स्क्वेर सेवन स्क्वेर ट्वेंटी फोर स्क्वेर सेवन स्क्वेर इज फोर्टी नाइन ट्वेंटी फोर स्क्वेर इज फाइव ट्वेंटी Now here we have to find value of x and not the x square. So this it's in square. So to remove that we will take taking square root. Now we have already seen how to take out square root. X square becomes x and six twenty five will go in the square root. So to square root of six twenty five is twenty five. That's the value of x. Let's see second sum. In second sum, PQ is nine, PR is forty one, and QR is x, and PR is the hypotenuse. So again, as per Pythagoras' theorem. Hypotenuse square equal to side one square plus side two square. What's the hypotenuse? It's PR. So PR square. Now the triangle are already right angles, so directly we can apply the Pythagoras over here. As said before, side one side two can be any side. PR is forty one, PQ is nine, QR is x. Forty one square. One six eight one, eighty one x square plus eighty one goes to other side becomes minus. So that is one thousand six hundred x square. Again, taking square root. So therefore, x square becomes x, and when one thousand six hundred, what's the square root of one thousand six hundred? It's forty. Sum number three is for homework. This sum is for homework. Coming on to main question number two, find the right angle in the right angle triangle PQR. Angle P is ninety degree. If PQ is twenty four and PR is ten, find the length of segment QR. Okay, so there is a right angle triangle, and ninety degree is at vertex P. So PQR. As per the length, PQ is twenty four. And PR is ten. We have to find QR. Means we have to find hypotenuse only. <coughs> so 
so I the, this is how we'll start in triangle PQR angle P equal to 90 degree therefore triangle PQR is a right angle triangle it is already mentioned in question itself so as per Pythagoras theorem Again, hypotenuse square equal to side 1 square plus side 2 square. What's the hypotenuse? QR. Side 1, I'm taking PQ and PR as side 2. QR, we don't know. 24 square plus 10 square. So QR square will be QR only 576 plus 100. So QR square equal to 676 taking square root. Therefore QR equal to 676 will go in the square root. Square root of 676 is it's 26 centimeter. So this is sum number 2. Question number 3 is similar to question number 2. So again this one is for homework. The sum which I am taking are for homework. Question number 4. The top of a ladder of length 15 meter reaches a window 9 meter above the ground. What is the distance between the base of the wall and that of the ladder? So diagrammatically explaining, this is the wall, this is the ground and this is the ladder. Okay, ladder, we always place ladder on the wall in a slant manner. So the length of the top of the la ladder of length 15 meters. So the ladder is of 15 meter length. Which reaches a window 9 meter above the ground. So this top of the win top of the ladder reaches at the window. On this wall, there is a window over here. So this top of the ladder reaches at the window. Over here, there is a window. And this uh, the length, the distance from the ground to the window is 9 meter. What is the distance between the base of the wall and the base of the ladder? We have to find this distance. Now we all know that uh, the wall and the ground always make a perpendicular angle. They are always perpendicular height. The wall is always a perpendicular. It's straight and perpendicular to the ground. So yes, we will be applying Pythagoras theorem. So let's start length of ladder equal to 15 meter, height of window above ground equal to 9 meter. <clears throat> now Wall and height, wall and ground, sorry, wall and ground are always perpendicular to each other. Therefore, as per Pythagoras theorem, Now, instead of writing hypotenuse, I will write ladder, then wall and the base. Okay. So, ladder. Hmm. 
height of ladder is 15 wall window on the wall is 9 9 meter above and base distance of base we have to find it's not wall actually it's the height of the window from the ground on the wall okay so just to remember i have written wall now plus 81 go on to other side becomes minus 22 minus 8 14 taking square root so base square becomes base 144 goes in the square root that is 12 meters so the the distance between the base of the wall and the base of the ladder is 12 meters